And when she was talking about the feelings of how, what she was going through, it made me realize that in a way, a business partnership split is still really similar to a divorce of really similar emotions as well. After leaving the corporate nine to five grind, I became the boss of my own spiritual business, helping others explore and navigate the human experience from insight, wisdom, and lessons learned along the way. Today, I help aspiring spiritual entrepreneurs gain the confidence to share their gifts with the world. Welcome to the Happy Healing Shop Podcast. I'm your host, Trang Pham Nguyen, and each week we'll dive into incredible stories of strength, resilience, and transformation. So if you are ready for some serious breakthroughs, laughs and tears, and stories that will inspire you, you are in the right place, my friend. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back. In some of my podcast episodes, um, if you're new, you'll see that I'll talk about some of my sessions I've had with my therapist in terms of finding tools or seeing a different way of viewing things and reframing the mindset. Um, and I hope to pass that along to some of these episodes in case some of you aren't able to afford a therapist, but might be able to gain um, some help from this. So about a year and a half ago, I broke up with my business partner. So it was another transition in my life. I was talking a lot about my therapist about it and how to navigate it, handle it with how I was feeling, confused about where to go with my business, um, anger, frustration, resentment. I also had a friend that was going through a divorce or more so a separation at the same time with her partner. And when it, she was talking about the feelings of how what she was going through, it made me realize that in a way, a business partnership split is still really similar to a divorce of really similar emotions as well. So during this time, I had no idea what to do with the Happy Healing Shop and how to move it forward. And so I joined a group mastermind program. It helped me a bit strategize on how to move forward with Happy Healing Shop, what offers I can have. The women that were in the group, some of them had businesses, some of them didn't. They were going through personal things in their lives. Overall, with the theme though, we were all going through transitions in our lives. And I would say a couple months later, when we've been doing a lot of the work, um, you can see everyone's energy start to change or they start to be in a different place, in a better place. And one person commented that she saw that I was no longer in a victim mindset anymore. And I remember thinking to myself, wait, what? Now, I didn't say that to her, but I remember thinking this sounds a bit off to me. So curious to learn more and understand more, I brought up this topic with my therapist and I was like, hey, someone made this comment to me. And so I'm curious, what is the difference between validating someone and their experiences versus calling someone that they have a victim mindset? And, you know, because sometimes I think people have good intentions, but sometimes maybe the label is wrong. Or if someone says you're playing the victim card, you know, what exactly does that mean? So my therapist explained to me that let's say someone has been assaulted, abused, emotionally manipulated, and all those kind of things. She prefers using the term survivor because using the victim mentality can be hurtful because apparently it carries uh, stigma and shame. And she was saying it's important to acknowledge and validate the emotions of um, people who have gone through tough times and having them share their stories, um, expressing their emotions, their anger, or their frustration is vital to part of the healing process. And by no means am I calling myself a victim in this situation. And that's where that comment, when that person made to me in that group, made me really confused. And I remember just feeling like there's something um, slightly off. So with victim mentality, my therapist then explained that victim mentality refers to projecting fear onto a future event that has not happened yet. So, you know, a lot of times I'm sure you could resonate with going through something and saying like, why me? Why that? Why this have to happen? Et cetera. Right? So for example, if you escaped a abusive relationship and started dating again, but constantly keep on thinking that the next person will harm you, it's projecting that fear 
onto an uncertain future. And our minds and our bodies do build these protective walls to try to shield us from further pain. So in general, if you're going through a tough time, just know that you deserve the help and support that you need to navigate through this. And also healing takes time. So wherever you are in your healing journey, and it goes up and down, just like a stock market, I feel like, um, to also give yourself grace and patience with yourself as you heal. And I always recommend seeking professional guidance with a mental health counselor, if possible. And I'll include a few resources down below in the show notes. And if you're looking for a community to feel safe in to heal, I invite you to join the Happy Healing Club, which is my membership that has healing events, workshops, guided meditations, happy hours to connect with other people, get support from myself, and also get a digital copy of our self-healing shadow work journal to help you do the inner work. We also have online classes and free resources at thehappyhealingshop.com. Again, I will link all those down below in the show notes. I hope this episode helped you. Let me know what you think about it. I know it might be also possibly triggering for some people. And finally, don't forget to always shine your light brightly and to share your story because you never know who it can help give hope to, or inspire to create a change in their own world. Thanks so much for being here with me, and I'll see you next time.